Hello everyone. It's James again. And for those that are new to this channel. I thank you for giving this little cartoon man with a funny voice a bit of your time. And for those of you that are long time subscribers. I thank you from the bottom of my little cartoon heart. And actually the love and support you've all shown to me and this channel. Is a big big part of what I want to talk about today. And you will see how it relates to the topic of today. You see. There is a group that has good looking women. Answer to the dating profiles of a variety of top platform executives. Engineers. Content managers. You name it. They set up a fake date with these people. And over the last few years. Some of these top people on places like major news channels. Have freely admitted certain things were completely made up and or certain things were meant to generate fear as that fear generates views and this is the major news networks admitting this or those that work in high up positions admitting this all while on fake bumble or tinder dates and there have been plenty of whistleblowers in the past from many of the online platforms we all use to share thoughts ideas and content with one another and these whistleblowers have freely admitted that shadow banning is real. And not allowing content they don't like or they don't approve of is a real thing. Well a Facebook. Oops. I mean a fake book engineer. Just went on such a so-called date. With a woman that works for an organization. With the task of getting the scoop of what is really going on. And I watched this video from the Tyrone Magnus channel. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. Tyrone is a funny guy. And I watch his videos from time to time. I don't know him well enough to say I agree or disagree with most things he says. But he seems like a decent guy. That cares about society while he tries to have fun at the same time. But with that said. On this so called Bumble Tinder date. This woman got all of the tea out of this guy. And he freely admitted some interesting things. And I will tell you how this relates to why I appreciate your support more than words can say. Now before I share to you the gist of what this guy ends up saying. I want to say. This isn't to be overly political or to shame anyone for voting or believing a certain way. But. There is a big big problem with what this guy is saying and a certain pattern that has been going on for several years now. That relates to why I'm so grateful for your support. This engineer of fake book. Admitted to shadow banning and or red listing content that spoke about Kamala Harris in a negative way. The content creators or those making certain posts. Would not be informed of being shadow banned. It would just all happen in the background. Now. Here's something I want to say. Again without being overly political. But to me this sounds like election manipulation. You see. Narcissists. And we do talk a lot about narcissists on this channel. Narcissists love to control the flow of information. This is how the narcissist in a great many of your homes were able to do what they did for as long as they were able to do it for. They made sure no one would believe you. And that you wouldn't even have access to certain people to be able to tell them what was really going on. And all these people were allowed to hear. Was the version of events told by your narcissist parent. Parents. Or husband or wife. Or your girlfriend or boyfriend. So forth and so on. You see. This is how narcissists like information to be. They want it to be one-sided. Where you can't speak and they can say and do whatever it is they want. And how this relates to why I'm so grateful and thankful for your support and love. Is because as many of you know. This shadow banning started to happen to me and several others in this space where we talk about narcissistic abuse. And the ones that it happened to. They in their videos. Drew parallels to what the narcissists did in your home of origins. To the behavior. Methods. And tactics of those that control. Shape and run society. You see. If everyone was afforded the ability to see this information for what it is. The game would be nearly over. And having and keeping their control. 
would become even more difficult for them to be able to do. Them meaning the societal narcissists. And this is just like your narcissist parent or parents. Oftentimes, they did their best to keep us from normal people. Because they didn't want us to compare these normal people's lives to our own lives. And start asking questions. And some of us in the narcissistic abuse space talk about things in such a way that doesn't just address the surface level of narcissism. And narcissistic abuse. But we peel back the layers of how it's infected society. And those that are at the top of this society. At least a great many of them. Are no different than your narcissist mother or your narcissist father. And they. Meaning the societal narcissists don't want you to know or be wise to this fact. And on these platforms. They have what would be the same as your golden child brother or sisters working there. Banning you and shadow banning you with the hopes of getting brownie points within their circle. And plus it fills their need for narcissistic supply as well. And as many of you know. A handful of years ago. When all of this shadow banning went full tilt. It happened to me. I made a video. Talking about the control system that starts with the letter C. And the next day my channel has had problems ever since. And when you hear this engineer from Fakebook talk about what and how they do what they do. This is likely what happened to me. Ollie. And a great many others on this platform that are just trying to share information and help people understand narcissism and narcissistic abuse for what it truly is. And the goal of this shadow banning is to just frustrate you into giving up. And quietly walking away. You see. If they just removed people's channels in a mass sense. That would be easier to see and harder for them to deny. But what they do is turn off or on certain settings on their side to slowly kill off your channel. Some of these channels. Were doing well. I was one of them. As I've mentioned before. I was on a good day getting almost 200 subscribers a day. And on a bad day I would get 50. But my channel was growing and growing and growing. It was growing fast. And though I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making some. Enough for me to see a good future for myself and this channel. If my channel continued to grow organically the way that it was. Because I remember around that time. Ollie whose other creator in this space of narcissism was talking about how he was hoping to do this full time and you could see a gleam in his eye because he was seeing the same growth I was seeing for my channel and he was likely thinking for once I'm going to get ahead and I can use my talents and skills to help others and to live a good life and not have to work for others in a job I don't like and I will tell you right now if mine and a great many others channels were able to organically continue to grow. You would likely have us full time. Because we would have more time. To do what it is we like to do. And that is help spread this word and help others. And don't get me wrong we like other things too. And we would have likely branched out and talked about other things. While still sticking with our normal content. But someone or someones were like. Nope. That's not going to happen. Why? Because narcissists like to control the flow of information. And they want you to give up and just stop talking. But this is how you know. Even though people like myself and Ollie. Did want to do this full time. That it's not all about the money. Because most of us now. Aren't making much on our channels. And some are paying more than we make to keep making content. And if it weren't for your support. We would be stuck. And I really want you to know. That when you support your favorite content creator. It really means a lot especially if we've been shadow banned. But again. Even when we barely are staying afloat. We are still making content. We are still trying to get the message out to anyone that will listen. Regarding what narcissistic abuse is really about. Not the generic talking points that are spoken about on the news. When they speak about narcissism. Or narcissistic abuse. And what's interesting is. When I made my channel about 14 almost 15 years ago. 
you didn't hear the news talking about narcissism. When Ollie came out, you didn't hear the news talking about narcissism. And when Sam Vaknin wrote his books, you didn't hear the news talking about narcissism. And when I say, you didn't hear them talking about narcissism. I mean in a general sense. Because now, on the news and on daytime television, it seems, everyone now is referred to as a narcissist. When they have no idea what they are talking about. But that's the idea. To corrupt the terms and meanings of them. So the true meaning of narcissistic abuse isn't heard. And the news and mainstream media's version of narcissism or narcissistic abuse is what must be followed as the truth. You see. When they say we are living in the matrix. This guy like this engineer and others like him. Are writing the code of the fake world we are living in. Because without them writing the fake code. You might find out the truth. And the truth is. You are being used for your life force. Your energy. And this is what we call narcissistic supply. And if you find out the truth. You will stop giving them this supply. And they along with their control will fall completely apart. So please know. Those of us that are still speaking out and about. About such things like. What narcissistic abuse is really about. And things about Jesus Christ. And about other important topics. Just know. Your support means everything. These are real deal content creators that have been hanging on for years dealing with this mess. Because it's not all about the money. Now don't get me wrong. It's nice to earn a living for what you do well. But the fact of the matter is. It's not the only thing. It's the message that is important. And trust me. By you supporting your favorite content creator. You are really helping that next video being made. And I can say. I do appreciate you more than you know. There have been some of you as of late. That shocked me in a very very good way. What you gave is so much appreciated. And those that are only able to give small amounts. I feel the same way. Because I know this content means a lot to them. But please take a look at this video. I will leave a link in the description box below. And tell me what you think. I would like to know. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.